Quiz Daddy's home. Hiya, kids. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Hello there. Happy Sunday. Oh, it's been many days since I was here. Good to be back. I, I was out in lobby. Lips of angles. AKA the land that autumn forgot. 85 degrees in October, baby. We go trick or treating in shorts. Then I jumped over to Vegas. Hello, AMA cuties. Connor Khabib, did you see that fight? Connor's the one who tried to fight a bus. He didn't fare much better against the Russian bear. Lost the match, but earned a reported $50 million or what his lawyers call bail money. You know what they say, what happens in Vegas stays on your conscience forever. I hope you had a good week, good weekend, despite all the Michigas and madness out there in this weird, wide world of ours. Thankfully, I'm here to restore some sanity, some sense of calm on this Sunday night, October 7th. Neil Bohr's birthday, Niels Bohr, the great Danish physicist, pioneer of quantum theory, gave us the atomic model. It's his birthday. Oh, I'm sorry, am I boring you? That was, that was a long way to go for that one. Look, giving you facts and occasionally money, that's kind of my whole job description here on HQ, the live mobile game show, where you answer questions to win cash. And if you don't know, I'm your hostess, without the ho-hos, giving a quizzical look to over 430,000 of you in the game right now. Scott Rogowski, yeah, Quiz Khalifa, Host Malone, Trap Trebek. Hello out there, HQs, including BBYOs, all you BBYOers registering for their next IC, Da Big Mac, Chuckster, Emily Burnett, she's in it up tonight, Alex Payton Paxton ran to you guys at the casino, David, my fellow Blue Jay in Virginia, Amanda K. Toronto, happy belated. And Gordon Ramsay, thank you. I ate at your restaurant, Hell's Kitchen. It was delicious. But I'm back. I'm back in the New York groove in the city with a fistful of dollars. Very real dollars. 25,000 of them. And if you answer all the questions of our cash prize, 25,000 Dagestanis, 25,000 dollar dues. So it's not Connor could be money, but it's enough for that way you get smart enough. You don't have to become a UFC fighter. Use your brain to make it rain, not your left hook. Life. No, take one from your cat. No, or get them by referring friends with your code, playing HQ five days in a row. That's another way to do it. Streak, streak, streak. They'll keep you in the game. If you get a question wrong, they can only be used once per game, not on the final question. And I got a question for you before we get the reals questions going. Do you like sports? All sorts like sports. You can play HQ Sports right here. Same app, different times, Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. with the great Gambino. Okay, HQDs, HQ Unicorns, HQ Cumbers, HQ Unitarians, HQ Universal Life Ministers, H Cuba Gooding Juniors. You want me to show you the money? Are you ready to show? Trapped in a fortune cookie factory with their lucky numbers, could be 25,000 number tonight. Hey, by the way, it's music Monday here on HP. We're doing pop music, pop quiz, hot shot. Your top 40, your Billboard 100, your Migos. Yeah, we'll be in the kitchen quizzing like a Fry. 
Two, three. What type of creature is a spider monkey? Itsy bitsy spider monkey. Uh, but quite large, and they're found in what's left of the Central and South America, very endangered. They're more monkey than spider, and they're thoroughly mammalian because of their spindly, spidery limbs. But they're monkeys, mammals, 418,300 from tree to shining tree onto Q4. Not exemplify ramp that create a bar because ever likewise a inclined plane, simple machines. But even if a wheel and axle is used to power a piston, the totality of motion not a form of a simple machine. 252,017 of you. You got it simple, because you're in a band onto Q5, one third of the way there. Which of these oons is an edible plant similar to an artichoke? Lampoon, cardoon, or bassoon? One of these is not like, yeah, the, well, none of them are like each other, but one is a food. They give members of the sunflower family nowadays peculiar names, funny names, including the so-called Jerusalem artichoke. as well as the artichoke thistle, a.k.a. the globe, the cardoon. Nine of you, sweet of you, feeling like a juicy type of manicure. Hidge lately. Seems like different kinds of cures one can get. Or hands. I've tried them all from the hard and soft gel and the acrylic or shellac varieties, I prefer the reverse French. But portage is uh, carrying a canoe across land. Yeah, that's, that's, not, that's not it. 210,921 are portaging on the Q7. Also portage, a city in Michigan. What up, Michigan cuties? Q7, what US president officially named the White House the White House? James Madison, George Washington, or Teddy Roosevelt? At the halfway point here, folks. Uh, what color is the White House? That's a Q1. How many gallons of paint does it take to give it a fresh coat? That's a Q15. It's 570, by the way. But this is a solid Q7 right in the middle, previously called the... Presidential House, the official letterhead, and not christened as such. And I'm christening this question at Q7, our first savage question of the evening. It took until the 20th century for the official name of the White House to be the White House. And you know what I love about this question? I love the 43,099 if you got this right, particularly because I wrote this question, baby! It's one of mine! Yeah, shout out to Josiah and Laura and Tim and Dave. Most of the writing, but I snuck one in this week. Q8! Which of these sports was derived from the Greek word meaning to exercise naked? Gymnastics, discus, or marathon? Tresco was much more relaxed in ancient Greece, as it is on certain islands in modern Greece today. Before Athleta and Lululemon, people worked out in gymnasiums in their birthday suits. And what were they doing in the gym? Gymnastics, of course. More like gymnasty. 53,502 flexing on them for Q9 tonight. Which of these fashion labels is known for keeping its collections completely vegetarian? Raph Simmons, Stella McCartney, or row. And I went over her shade. And if you play her dad's song, Maybe I'm Amazed Backwards, you'll hear a recipe for a really ripping lentil. Under there, 38,312. Stella! Stella! You're getting Q10. Don't you hear me, Yella? Uh, what is traditionally spring wrestling ring before a match begins? Barley, rice, or salt? Uh, uh, sumo! The origins of sumo wrestling go back 15, making it the world's organized sport. It retains many ancient and sacred purifying into the ring before the fun begins. That is salt. 
NACL, baby, 25,011. Joining the Basho at Q11. The rest of you feeling salty. You came close, but no sumo tonight. Q11. Which classic movie doofus orders a pizza to his classroom? Billy Madison, Stifler, or Spicoli? Look, all this guy needed was some tasty waves, a cool buzz, and he'll be fine. Mr. Hand wasn't hallucinating when a piping hot za got delivered to his Ridgemont High classroom by Taylor Negron. Ordered by the one and only. Four of the devil cheese and sausage. Right here, dude. <laughs> Jeff Spicoli. That's what they call him. That's the name they gave him. 18,761 knew this one. Spicoli played to perfection by El Chapo's chum Sean Penn. 18,761 getting Q11 right. Danger is your business. You're getting Q12 in her famous VMA performance. What type of snake did Britney Spears dance with? Boa constrictor, cobra, or python? Oh, Britney has said of this 2001 performance that dancing with a big snake was, quote, so dumb. But at that time, it was also dumb. She named her serpentine side piece Banana. And as of 2016, the albino Burmese python was still alive and thriving. It's the python around Britney's neck. 12,721 of you are a slave for HQ. And you're getting Q13. Tonsurphobia is the fear of what? Getting a haircut, surgery, or small holes. You have this one and two more, folks. $25,000 at your fingertips, literally. You're using your fingers to tap the answers. This is a well-earned phobia, quite frankly. One I imagine afflicting our very own commander-in-chief. As getting a haircut can be quite the hazard, especially when there aren't many hairs there. 8,685. Jumping out of the chair looking fresh to death for the penultimate question tonight, Q14. Before Pirates of Penzance Company, you know, before leaving the original cast, David Diggs claimed the record for fastest rapper on Broadway, spitting 19 words in three seconds on the song Guns and Ships. And according to Entertainment Weekly, to hear anything that comes even close to that, you'd have to hear Stephen Sondheim's and the song Getting Married Today or Not today and we have another savage question striking late in the game oh the hq manity world star world star at q14 1095 are in good company tonight you have made it all the way to the final round on hq trivia q15 it all boils down to this over a half a million start we're down to just over 1000 you answered this question right you split that cash prize, that sweet, sweet cash. Q, 15. For all the marbles, which superhero movie was directed by a person nominated for multiple Oscars? Thor, The Avengers, or Logan? Multiple Oscars, that's the key there, keyword. Now the MCU has spread its influence far and wide, sucking in lots of people of all kinds of talents, including Oscar nominees James Mangold and Joss Whedon who each have about one nomination. One. I'm asking about multiple nominations. That one pales to the five nominations Sir Kenneth Branagh, master adapter of Shakespeare and director of Thor. Yes, Thor is your answer. Some people use extra lives and 1,181 are our winners. Baby, drop the hammer on it. One thousand one hundred and eighty-one. No, they're Marvel movies. Thor for the win. Noah Syndergaard. Shout out to you, my friend. Congratulations to all of you. Splitting twenty-five thousand dollars, taking home twenty-one seventeen. Not too shabby for your Sunday evening. A little Andrew Jackson there and some change. Congrats, Tommy BDB, JMJ DHQ, Jada One Hundred Two, repping a fresh. LeBron in the Lakers uni. Ooh, that's got a sting. Cleveland fans. D. Ramirez 01, Zog's captain, Carol Wake, MH23. You did it.
You, you took my fistful of dollars. You made, you made, you made, you, you made it rain with your brain. And now, now I got to pick that up. Hey, tomorrow, come back. Music Monday. Pop, 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 video, pop music. You know, all your current hot tracks burn up the charts from Britney, Christina, Mandy Moore, S Club 7, Will Afford, Will Smith. And then, no, it's going to be like Drake, Cardi, Post Malone, you know, come on. And HQ Sports tomorrow at 7 p.m. And Wednesday with Lauren Gambino. Oh, thanks for joining me tonight. I hope you had fun. I sure as heck did. Good to be back. I'll see you tomorrow night, folks. Until then, I'm Scott Rogowski signing off saying, So we'll march day and night by the great tool cooling tower. They have the plan, but we have the power. Good night. I still believe that. <laughs>